three things you should be outsourcing as an online small business owner. Let's get into it. What's up you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I'm a certified health coach and a full-time business mentor for small online business owners, specifically coaches and OSPs, but any online business owner or entrepreneur at that is welcome here. If you're not subscribed, I post an educational video or an educational podcast episode on entrepreneurship every single Wednesday and an entrepreneurial lifestyle vlog every single Sunday. And I'd love to have you in the family. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber. I've missed you. I'm so glad to have you back. And today's training is going to be so much fun because outsourcing has really changed my life as a business owner. And I actually think that outsourcing has gotten harder since the pandemic, which is why I'm glad I'm filming this when I am. And I think advice from like pre pandemic still can apply somewhat, but in my experience and from what I've seen with my clients, I actually think that um, things are pretty different in the freelancing landscape and environment these days. And so I think it's worth discussing to make sure that you're able to outsource in an effective way in your business, but that it's not creating even more work for you. Before we dive into the three things that I believe you should be outsourcing as a small business owner, even if you are very new in your business, I want to dive into a couple things here in the beginning. Number one, I want to just say, like I mentioned earlier, outsourcing really changed my life as a business owner. And I started outsourcing before I really felt like I needed to in my business. I could tell that, you know, years ago, so like over three years ago, I could tell that I was starting to need some help in my business or maybe just that I felt pretty like overly busy. But the main thing that I noticed was that I wasn't able to fully commit to certain areas of my business because like the day to day admin and certain things that I'm going to mention later, we're just taking over all of my time. So I have a really strong personal journey with outsourcing and I have multiple podcast episodes about that topic. I will link those down below and you can also catch the podcast in addition to being on YouTube, on Spotify and Apple podcasts. I think at least two or three episodes I talk about outsourcing, but I know I have one that is like specifically in that direction. I'll make sure my editor links that down below for you guys. Additionally, I, as I was saying, think that hiring freelancers get, has gotten like a little bit more challenging since the pandemic. And my reason for saying that is everything kind of obviously went online during the pandemic. And I actually found that more people wanted to become freelancers during that time. And a lot of businesses were outsourcing in different ways and everyone was trying to be innovative. And there was just a real influx of freelancers into the industry. And the places that I used to send my clients to find freelancers, like amazing Facebook groups and just places where you didn't have to make an account and pay and you could interview people kind of at your own pace. I've actually found that those things kind of evaporated during the pandemic. A lot of these spaces that made it a little bit easier to connect with newer, less expensive uh, freelancers went a lot more corporate during the pandemic. And because of that, most times now when you're looking to hire a freelancer, unless you have a very direct connection or recommendation, um, you're going to be making an account and probably paying a fee to do your outsourcing. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do a little shameless plug here. Two of the three things on the list that I'm about to tell you guys about, I can personally help you with. It is going to be so much easier for you guys to apply to work with me in either of these capacities that I'm going to talk about directly through me than to go make an account on Fiverr or Upwork and be digging through all of the thousands of freelancers out there trying to figure out who's not a scam, who is, what price is right, all that jazz. So I wanted to throw that out there. I am going to be talking about things that I can directly help you with take it or leave it. If you're interested in making a hire and you want to incorporate me into that, awesome. If not, the option is there. Even if you just want to read about my services and take that elsewhere so that you can kind of compare and contrast what you're looking for, totally fine. But I'm going to throw that out there because it's kind of a shameless plug, but for the most part, it's kind of just making it easier for you to see what your options are and have something to compare to in a way. The first thing you need to be outsourcing sometimes even before you actually start making a profit in your business is your education. If you are struggling in any area of your business, or you just are recognizing that you don't know quite as much as you might need to know to bring your business to the level that you want to see it at out 
outsourcing your education is essential because the alternatives like not outsourcing your business education is to literally just try to figure it out all on your own. Just be Google searching, watching YouTube videos, which obviously if you're here, you can see the value in that, but nothing that I can say to you or anybody else online can say to you through something pre-recorded or like a PDF or an ebook or whatever, none of it's custom to you and your needs. The power of getting into some type of a mentorship where there's real accountability, there's education, but that's customized to your needs. And there's just a real sense of like handholding in a way and personal guidance and accountability. As I said, like that's huge. That cannot be overstated how important that is. So if you guys are not outsourcing your education, you're sitting here thinking like, God, I'm spending, you know, three, four hours a day just researching what I need to be doing rather than actually doing it. And even when I am taking action, I don't know if it's right. If that's you, all of my mentorship wait lists are linked down below. And in particular, my foundations of online coaching program is built for people looking to invest in their education who want to learn the full curriculum all the way from niche development and you know business strategy mapping all the way through to launching product development sales pricing all of that jazz social media use everything you can think of so check out the curriculum down below if you're curious about that but take this and bear this in mind investing in your education is a non-negotiable and it is something that i recommend outsourcing no matter what avenue you choose to do that through number two the thing that most people outsource aside from education, so kind of like a more traditional look at outsourcing is something to do with social media, either copywriting or social media management. Those are the two things that I see. The reason that I'm putting this next on the list, you can probably relate to this. So many business owners sit down to work on their business and all that consists of is what am I gonna post today? Crap, let me write the caption. I don't really know what to write. It's getting no engagement. Should I do a post? Should I do a reel? What am I doing? That's insane. That's so much. And then at the end of that, your couple of hours that you had to work on your business or the couple hours of actual mental capacity that you had gone, we're done. There's nothing left to give. And so then you're left with a whole lot of nothing besides some Instagram posts that may or may not even perform in your business. That's not leaving you time to do lead generation, outreach, market research, product development, client management, like any of these other things that deserve your time in business. So hiring a copywriter is a great place to start. I just started a copywriting agency called Wood Studio. This is the Instagram name for that agency. But what I do for my copywriting clients and what you guys might be interested in through me or someone else is having someone at least just look at your niche, look at what you wanna talk about, look at your sales goals and actually build out a content planner and write that content for you. You can post it as you wanna post it. You can stick to that schedule that they give you um, and it's accountability for you to actually post this content. But for a lot of people, the writing is the thing that takes forever. If you're looking for a step above that and copywriting is generally significantly more affordable than full social media management, you can actually invest in a social media manager, which I do for a few people that meet my um, application criteria. You can invest in social media management where someone is planning the content, writing it, designing the posts, and actually making them go live for you. So you can really be hands off and focus on other areas of your business. My current social media management clients love this aspect because they do not have time to be on Instagram doing all the posting and they know that if they hired me to write copy for them, they probably wouldn't even post it because they wouldn't have time. So all the things that I've mentioned here in relation to social media, you can kind of pick and choose the pieces that you need. You can look at your budget and decide, do I want to invest in the full social media management package? Do I want to just hire a copywriter? What about a content planner? You're not always going to be able to pick and choose all of those elements of a package when you're working with just any freelancer. But if you wanna to talk to me about what we could do working together, or if you just want some advice, you can bring it to interviews you're conducting for some social media help. Happy to chat always. And the application for copywriting and social media management through me is down below if you wanna hop on a consultation. The next thing is something that I cannot help you with, and it is lead management. Could I help you with this 100%? Can I teach you how to do this yourself? Absolutely, and then you can teach your freelancers how to do it. That's what I do inside my mentorships. Listen back to point number one. But if you wanna outsource lead management, so this might be lead generation, communicating with leads, doing general social media engagement, 
all of these types of things where you're actually communicating with your leads and managing communication in some way. This is essential for sales. You need to be doing something like this. If you don't hire it out, you need to be doing it yourself. This is gonna be the work generally of a virtual assistant. And a VA, virtual assistant, is someone who can have a lot of different, they, they wear a lot of hats. They have a lot of different duties potentially. So that can make things easier or harder during the hiring process because Sometimes it's hard to find someone who's kind of a jack of all trades. And at the same time, it can be hard to find someone who's specialized enough in lead management and engagement and communication specifically that they're actually doing a good job. But take it from me, if you are not engaging in all of your lead communicative actions yourself, you need to learn how to do that. And then you need to outsource that to someone else if you don't see it fitting in your schedule or you don't like it. That is something that is non-negotiable if you want to make sales. If you want to have leads, like you really can't get around doing lead communication, lead generation, follow-up, all that jazz. So those are three different outsourcing opportunities that I've presented you guys with today, whether it be just investing in your education and taking the reins on everything else from there or investing into someone to help you with some elements of your social media, some elements of your lead management, I can't stress enough how much investing in these areas myself has been so helpful and how much I've been able to help others because I specialize in teaching and implementing a lot of these things in my own business and now the businesses of others. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to spend money on your business to get the help that you need. It will change your entire life. And I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any other questions or wanna chat, always feel free to shoot me a DM. Look at all the information down in the description box for more details on the different programs, services, and products that I've mentioned. Okay.